It doesn't get much more beautiful than having this background to unbox a brand new plane. This is the Boomerang Lancer aircraft. It's for myself. We're gonna overpower this thing. It's gonna to be tons of fun. Build video series coming up. I've got the, uh, the specs here for the Lancer. So it is a 60 inch wingspan, 1.524 meters. Uh, empty weight 5.7 kilograms, total length 1.7 meters. Looking forward to this jet. Let's unbox it. Uh, it's a little bit of a different scenario here because we don't have our editing to do, but hopefully you guys enjoy this. So the box itself comes very well packaged. There was a little bit of uh, nicks and bumps on the box itself, but like most Boomerang products, comes with very thick, double walled cardboard throughout. This scheme is very bright. So here's the scheme. It's the, I think it's called the fuchsia scheme or something like that. But anyways, it's the pink scheme. And I know the camera for sure doesn't pick this up properly, but it's, uh, I think this is fluorescent pink would be the color. So we had this delivered here at Montana Jets. We're just gonna pop it open, take a quick look at things, very quick unboxing and uh, Next video series we'll be doing is the actual building of the aircraft. So something comparable for this aircraft that I just recently built was the Rebel Hot aircraft. So very similar size to this. And you'll notice with a lot of the Boomerang jets now, um, very much, almost their whole lineup is now going to be all composite aircraft, which is a huge change for Boomerang jets. So something like this, full composite wing, none of the hinging's done yet, so I'm just being very careful with that. But uh, full composite wing, full composite fuselage, absolutely awesome. Very light wing. Looks like good construction. We've got nice glue joints and it's uh, plywood all throughout the wing. Looks good. So we'll leave the other wing sealed up for now. We'll just pop the, uh, the fuselage and all the other components out of the box here. So we'll just pull all the parts out individually here. So we've got our fuel tank, which comes with it. Kevlar fuel tank. I don't know the size of the fuel tank, but if I had to guess, probably three liters, maybe three and a half liters, which is gonna be awesome for putting a 95 in this aircraft. Uh, it's gonna be a very good amount of fuel. We've got the JP landing gear that comes with it as well. So the whole setup uh, for the JP stuff. Um, in the box, we've got our tail surfaces. And again, all fully composite. We've got all of our hatches. Uh, looks like carbon hatches for the something on the fuselage. We've got all of our servo plates and everything included as well. <laughs> Impromptu unboxing. That stuff's going to happen. Our rudder surface. <laughs> uh, we've got a parts bag here with all the hardware and such. And... Leave the canopy attached. All right, so the rest of it is fuselage. So we're gonna pop the fuselage out and we'll get the fuselage on the table and we'll take a look at it in a second. All right, so we got the plane out of the, uh, out of the box. Um, everything's nicely bubble wrapped. No damage, of course, because the box was so good. So we're gonna unwrap this thing. Uh, wing and uh, horizontal stab tubes are here. They're carbon as well, which is very nice to see. Man, that is bright. Holy, hey, <laughs> jeepers. Yeah, the camera definitely does. I know it, well, I've, I've seen videos and pictures online and the camera does not pick that up at all. Yeah. And even the pictures on the website, guys, is not, um, it's not accurate. So fluorescent pink, the green. It's actually brighter on the screen here. 
Is it? Yeah. So the green is brighter? Yeah, the pink is toned down. Yeah. And the, and the green's the brighter. <laughs> wow. And there we are, very light fuselage. Really impressive. Very cool. Awesome, nice hatch, nice and light as well. Uh, canopy wise, I think we're gonna black out the canopy. I'll bring you guys in and show you. So there's the internal structure, pretty typical stuff. Uh, we've got our wood plates everywhere. Uh, everything's already uh, pre-holed, so you're gonna have lots of space to mount equipment. Cool thing about this plane is the, there's no exhaust pipe, right? So turbine mounts right there and exhaust comes out and that's it. So I think our little X95 is gonna fit beautifully in there. The uh, tail servos go right there, but uh, it's gonna to contribute to being a very, very light aircraft. Very cool, that's gonna show up in the sky, just beautiful. There we go, so very nice. So yeah, we're gonna black out the canopy on this guy. It does come with a instrument panel in the box, so it comes with a little uh, sticker or decal, decal for that guy. But uh, there she is. Very cool. So nice little jet. Perfect for fl uh, throwing in the back of the car. Very cheap to fly because you're using hardly any fuel and should be very quick assembly as well too. So this plane um, lists, you're supposed to be putting a 60 or 70 in there. So us putting the uh, 95 in there is gonna be a lot more power. But of course we fly at elevation as well. So we do lose 15-ish percent of our thrust. So that's why I, I will be putting the uh, 95 in this plane. And I also have one. Uh, fuel tank, I believe, goes right over top of the CG. It looks like the fuel tank's going right here and wing tube is right there. So it should be completely neutral throughout the flight. And uh, I think it's gonna be an absolute hoot to fly this thing. It's gonna be a fast little plane. So looking forward to it. Uh, stay tuned for the build series, guys. I'm not gonna put this thing together because um, we have to transport it home, but stay tuned for the build series. I suspect this is gonna go together quick, probably two to three videos, probably two is realistic. Uh, the manual on the Boomerang, uh, the Lancer, is awesome. Uh, I, think, I believe Dan Landis has put the manual together. It's very well laid out, very straightforward. So if you're looking for a sports jet that is easy to build, quite inexpensive, um, I definitely would suggest taking a look at this one. Obviously there's links down below to Boomerang's website, so check them out and uh, you can build one along with me. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the build videos, not from beautiful Montana, but thanks for joining us in Montana for the unboxing.